Okay, so we're going to start our ongoing meditation session now. Keep your back straight, neck head straight in one line, and your right palm on your left. And gently close your eyes and bring your attention to this bell sound. So while you focus into the sound, you can mentally relax your body, relax your mind, and relax your breathing with your thoughts. Do nothing extra. Just follow the sound, please. Namo tassa bhagavato arato samma sambuddhassa Namo tassa bhagavato arato samma sambuddhassa Namo tassa bhagavato arato samma sambuddhassa Homage to the Blessed one, the exalted one, the fully enlightened one. So, dear Dhamma practitioners, before we start our practice session, we'll take a few minutes to understand how this practice will help for us to develop our awareness. So, when it comes to Buddha's teaching, one of the fundamental core principle is purification of our mind. And so we do all the cultural, traditional, spiritual practice related to that idea, purifying ourselves. So, from what we have to purify our mind. So when we come to that, jealousy, hatred, greed, fear, self-centered view, egocentric mind. So this kind of environment inside our body, we develop day by day, day by day. So purification of mind means we come to a point to develop the, the other side of that mental qualities, loving kindness, generosity, compassion, wisdom. So when when we are in that development, the very first thing that we have to understand, we already have certain kind of memory or the physical, mental background always bring the influence from the greed, hatred and the delusion. So that's why repeating life not allow us to go out of it. It always empower its own nature related to greed, hatred, or the delusion. Then you have to bring something new to yourself. So then bringing something new doesn't mean you bring some ideas from outside and put it to inside you. That, oh, that the newness always there with you. That is your present moment. So right now, right here, what is happening within you, what you experience is brand new. So then you have a choice. 
rather than depending from memory if you able to come to the present moment in that very present moment in that environment you become free from all the attachments so when it come to detachment when it come to freedom and we always look to get out of something and as example if you think that you find the freedom or you have the very comfortable life and you may think of finding a very calm quiet relaxed place and get out of this material things will help you to find that freedom so if you look very carefully in life there are certain things come to us without even any effort we never wish for that kind of situations but it comes to us so then just imagine you are planning to stay away from this everything so that is your conscious decision you 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 not going to attach to anything but still there is something this is what you have to understand this is a very key point once you get this it will help you to 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 change the way you look regarding detachment so maybe you take a conscious decision to stay away from things as example you can say oh i don't want this i don't want this so you can throw everything away from you so there is a ability there is a capability we now you can get out of this all just imagine then you become homeless or you go to jungle you go to a monastery and then you think that you're going to be free from this world detached from this world there are certain things that start to come behind you follow you so then remember this from today detachment when it come to spiritual path the detachment is not you are stay away from something do not allow anything to come towards you do not allow yourself to not anything to follow you how you can do that because physically you can get out of things and you can say i don't want this i don't want this but there is a deeper connection with this mind body universe with the desires and we have done lot of things in our past sansara so then what happens it is still keep coming towards us another way it called the vasana or the karma you can name it so today out of our bodily verbally mentally actions what happens it all start to find a way path to come towards us it's like the gravity just imagine you can say i don't believe the gravity i don't want the gravity and you go to the you know higher building you know 100 feet 200 300 feet you know taller building and you don't you say i don't believe the gravity and then you jump so maybe you don't believe the gravity but once you jump what happens the gravity start to find you gravity start to catch you so like that even though you don't want the world deeply 
there is a mechanism the world will catch you so the detachment mean another way in the spiritual detachment mean you live with the world but you not allow anything to own you catch you hold you harbor you so then why things keep coming like that way because that when you take a decision based with your physical body it create a self centered mind and that is where it keep coming so mostly averagely ordinary person take decision even sometimes our enlightenment is related with our person this physical body we think i don't want this body anymore i don't want this and i want to get out of this so like that and then that's why it's keep coming so then develop uh, the method or the mechanism not this anything to come behind you rather than remember this it very careful rather than staying away from anything develop a method not allow anything to come behind you that is so powerful that is a kind of like the killing you know the ability that you develop one should develop that it is something so getting to that the method is the first in the very first level you have to center with the 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 present moment so that is the power of the present moment if you depending from the past or the future always remember you are centered with the the physical body self centered mind and then what will happen the world will catch you the world will follow you the world will hold you maybe for the moment you feel so good relax comfortable no one around you you know that physical freedom is not the freedom that that uh, that the loneliness is not the freedom it's deeper and even you are in a very crowded place with lot of materials in the middle of the busy city if you live a life not allowing anything to own you hold you come behind you that is something deep but the today that's what happens we live a life with this, it's kind of like a pc life you know this uh, computer life we have a laptop life and we we normally do nowadays we kind of like a, we we have a method entering and deleting because we 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 now learn push push the buttons that's how we learn things that's how we know now things and we think in our life also or oh, whatever you enter you can delete just pushing a button it's not going to happen like that so whatever that with our eye ear nose tongue body mind whatever we absorb remember it is start to come behind you what you intake start to come behind you maybe not today maybe not tomorrow next week or next month or next year but deeply you build up a deep uh, connection or the relationship and then it start to follow that itself we call the world 
So this everything behind you, there is a reason. And maybe in, even when you close, when you go to sleep and when you close your eyes, in dreams, you, you have these things. So then in the present moment, it's not going to happen. So then you have to come to a point to understand. Are you willing to be free like that way? Are you have any kind of intention, favor, effort to be free like that? Can you, can you have a moment? No one going to come behind you. No one care about you. Nothing going to care about you. Can you, can you come to a point like that? That is where you're going to shine. That is where your true nature going to, to develop because otherwise we always become like the debtors, beggars. We always depending from something or somebody. And that itself invite for the entire universe around us to be like this. So this meditation, itself will take you to a point to take a very conscious decision to be in the moment without depending from anything or anybody. Even your own thoughts just by experience in the present moment. So for that we take our as our primary mental object, our own inhalation, exhalation, right? Because that is happening exactly in the present moment. So if you are able to tune to that, harmonize with that, and that will help you to go with it. And by the time your body, mind, breathing start to work as one, in certain level you come to understand how this moment by moment, moment by moment, life happening. And when you're able to come to that point to understand, you're able to see things as it is. What is here, these things mean. That means your experience, bodily feelings, sensation, thoughts, so that kind of things. So what is happening in you, then what, what the, the life you experience right now, right here. You're able to understand and see it as it is. And that is where you can recognize, you develop a wisdom, analytical mind to see how things come to be as they are. I mean, that is Vipassana. So in tranquility meditation, it allows you to see things as it is. In Vipassana level, you will recognize how things come to be as they are. And in the moment by moment, moment by moment, if you if you able to, to join these two together, and then you at the same time you see things as it is, and at the same time you recognize how it come to be as it is. When you come to that point, you recognize things happen according to necessary cause and conditions in that environment. So once you're able to understand it, you come to the point to recognize experience and experiencer, object and subject, Perception and the perceiver, this all happening as a result of same cause and conditions. And that will help you to untangle this all the thoughts happening within us. So let's get into practice a little bit. Your right palm on your left, neck head straight in one line. 
and bring your attention to your body pose. Observe head to toes three times yourself and say so patveva or may I be well and happy. Take a moment and think. We gathered here in this moment to practice this ancient meditation technique. All the Buddhas, all the enlightened masters followed this path and achieved wisdom. So we also gathered here to accumulate that knowledge. In this moment with this sitting, may my body become more comfortable. May my breath be more smooth. May no difficulties come to me. May all the success come to me. Also think for a moment. This is the last moment we are spending in this very lifetime. And detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts. Just try to remain in the present moment, observing the sensation of your inhalation and exhalation. So in the beginning, deeply and gently, breathing, breathe out. Three times, please. And allow your inhalations, exhalations happen itself. Just observe and recognize, them. do nothing extra.
Bring your attention to the body, please. Observe your posture. We cultivate loving kindness and compassion in our heart and radiate it as a light. Through entire your compound, village, city, state, country, world, around this universe. Also, as far as you can, through galaxies, other planets, stars. Reminding yourself like this, with clear intention, mentally repeat after me. May all living beings in this universe be well and happy. May everyone be happy and safe. And may their hearts be filled with joy. May all living beings live in security and in peace. Beings who are frail or strong, tall or short, big or small, visible or not visible, near or far away, already born or yet to be born. May all of them dwell in perfect tranquility. Let no one do harm to anyone. Let no one put the life of anyone in danger. Let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm. Expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from your heart forward. Visualize yourself and send it as a light. To your backside. To your left side. And to your right side. Downward. And upward. to all six directions at once, like the moon, the sun, spread the light, spread the energy, without any condition, without any limitation, without any resistance or without any judgment. Let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it with the maximum effort to the highest. Wishing yourself, may all living beings in this universe be well and happy.
Say sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. So first of all, we offer this practice to the great qualities of the Supreme Buddha, Dhamma and the Sangha. And also by the power of this meritorious deed, may all of us attain to the supreme bliss of Nibbana. Also may all your guardian angels will receive these merits and increase their longevity and protect all of you from any kind of planetary influences or any ill effects. Ittavata cha mehi sampadam punya sampadam sabbe deva numodantu sabba sampatti siddhiya sabbe bhuta numodantu sabba sampatti siddhiya sabbe satta numodantu sabba sampatti siddhiya Imaya dhamma nu dhamma pati patiya buddham tu jemi dhammang tu jemi sangham tu jemi Aptaya imaya pati patiya jati jaravya dimaranam ha paribunjissami Idam me punya kammanga savaktaya vahangho tu sabba dukkha pamunchatu Bless you.